How do you vote, please? Three years ago, then Speaker of the House David Gowan really wanted to pass this bill. So much so, he took the unusual step of keeping the voting board open for an hour as he begged and pleaded with his fellow lawmakers. I would ask two of you, for an old speaker here going out, if you wouldn't mind helping me and get this bill across the finish line. House Bill 2568 gave developers the power to levy taxes on the communities they built. It benefited the biggest land developers in Arizona and was backed by El Dorado Holdings, a company owned by Mike Ingram that owns property all over the valley and Arizona with an estimated worth of $1 billion. The same year Gowan urged lawmakers to vote for this pro-developer bill, employees with Ingram's company donated big money to Gowan's failed congressional run. Ingram was also spotted sitting behind Gowan at the Diamondbacks home opener that year. As for the outcome of that bill, after all of the begging and pleading, lawmakers finally passed it by a slim majority. 31 ayes, 26 nays, 3 not voting. You passed House Bill 2568. Ducey would later go on to veto that bill over concerns that it did not protect the taxpayer. And we did get a statement from Mr. Ingram's attorney, Lanny Davis, that reads in part, there is no factual basis to suggest that Mr. Ingram's political donations in his case to both parties has ever caused or influenced an Arizona elected official to take a policy, policy position. I can understand many people see the optics as inferring that connection, but this is, is fact-free innuendo. But he has made quite a few political donations. Yeah, Mr. Ingram has been, you know, obviously he holds a big land holding company, one of yeah. the biggest in Arizona, you know, $1 billion. He is involved very much so in politics, regularly giving to, don to, to, to politicians like Governor Ducey, uh, even Greg Stanton in his congressional race. So it's not really limited to just one party, but he does seem to give more money to the Republican Party um, if you were to have to look at it in any sense like that. All right, Dennis, thank you. Of course, we're talking about this CNN report. If you want to watch that full story, on Ingram's ties to the Trump administration, as well as the whistleblower that exposed it all. It's right now on our mobile app, AZ Family mobile app.